Um, today, I'm not going to do a makeup tutorial, as you can see. It's already done. But, um, I, I may have mentioned in previous videos that I recently did a complete and total color change. Um, it's a huge change for me. I have been dark mahogany, red-brown hair for more than 10 years now. Probably all the way back to high school. Uh, with a few other colors thrown in. Uh, tried to lighten it to blonde and the red wouldn't come out. So now I've ended up with copper red. And I'm like full on ginger. And it weirded me out for uh, about three days. Like I just could not get over looking in the mirror and seeing totally different, like a totally different person. But um, I've gotten used to it now. And I'm starting to work with a different makeup palette because um, I've always used similar colors because of the the green in my eyes and you know having cool toned skin but uh, with the red hair I couldn't use uh, some of them just don't look right like some of the the brighter red colors and and stuff like that so um, the other problem I'm having is that I've spent most of my life getting really cheap makeup and the eye palettes I've been using uh, I feel like they're not pigmented enough because it takes a ton of pigment to get any color on my eyes so um, hopefully this looks okay and you can see it um, trying some new stuff I'm just going to go over the products I used. If you like this look, maybe you can use some of the products. Maybe they'll help you. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But um, I just sort of, like, here's a baseline what I'm working with. Um, to start off with, I do my, uh, my eyes first. And I'm using this uh, Rimmel London Magnifies Electric Violet Edition palette which has a lot of lovely purple and pinkish purple and bluish hues in it which uh, seem to go good with this color of copper hair and um, for my liner if you follow me on Instagram you know that I recently got eye method um, like eyeliner wing stamps so on one end I don't know if you can see this or not like on one end it has like a little stamp shape and then on the other end it's just like a regular like a regular tip so you, you lightly stamp on the shape for the wing and then you fill in your line with the line end and there's a, a right wing and a left wing so um, they come in a kit I method is a super great company um, I reached out to them they reached out to me they also uh, sent me uh, it's a, like a brow pencil and unfortunately the color was a little too dark and I haven't got my new one in yet um, especially with the lighter hair color I didn't want to use the dark brown brow but that's my fault I ordered the wrong color but these are a lifesaver if you've never done wings um, I'm still trying to perfect them I think this eye may be a little bit heavy or maybe that one's a little bit light they're not quite balanced today but the, you know they look pretty good and that's only like the maybe fifth time I've used the wings because normally I just use like a dark brown liner instead for my brow I have a, a wet and wild retractable brow pencil and this one has like I don't know if you can see it but it has like a triangle shape and I just use that to fill in because normally my brows are kind of like only on this side and there's nothing out here <laughs> so I just use it to fill in and make them look a little bit more normal um, so I do I'll do all that first um, and I put a light color on the top and then a kind of a lighter shimmer color here and then I always do the darker colors here for the crease in the corner kind of um, to give I don't know I guess like to make my eyes look like they're coming forward on this part and receding back on that part. Yeah, not bad. Um, so then I always do my uh, 
my eyes first so that I can cover over and correct mistakes or whatever. Um, for the concealer, under eyes and blemishes and stuff, I've uh, stumbled upon this Alme Clear Complexion, Complexion Concealer. comes in a little tube like this. And um, this is really great. Blends really well. I also have, for dark areas, or places I want to darken a little bit, this LA Colors Contour Stick. I'm less in love with this because it's so precise. Like, if you want to contour your nose, but I wish it was just a little bit more blendable, so I'm still looking for another contour. Um, for my highlight stick, this is, <laughs> this is a Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Sticks Highlight. So glittery and so perfect. I don't know if you can see. It's so shimmery and so shiny and so pretty. But um, and it's just like a moisture, it's just a moist, creamy crayon, and you just like boop and blend it, and you're done. It's awesome. Um, I forgot to mention my foundation. I always use CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless, and uh, this product was came out a couple years ago, like a while ago, and I just feel like uh, it blends really well and it matches my skin tone and it covers up any uneven, like the red cheeks or whatever. So um, I'm not settled on using this forever, but for now it works pretty good. And for setting powder, I have the brand new CoverGirl Advanced Radiance. This is a just a pressed powder in classic beige and um, they give you this little puff with it but I use a bigger puff or a brush but just a nice smooth light powder and for the apples I use the uh, Revlon this is like a cream blush I absolutely love this stuff and this one is called Smitten and uh, number 350 I tell you what, I hope I can still get this when I run out because I rent, I bought this at like Ross or something, the Bell's Outlet. So hopefully they still make this. And if um, you're watching Revlon, hit me up. Um, and yeah, and then for lashes, I've got CoverGirl Total Tees, also from an outlet. And uh, not from an outlet, the CoverGirl... This is 575. I can't read it because my eyes are terrible. Anyway, you've seen these before. It's the matte or gloss lip, like, it's kind of like stain and then it dries on your lip and then to make it glossy, it's got this clear gloss stick that you go over. It's a, a lipstick duo from CoverGirl. And I've got loads of these, but this color seems to work really well with the pinks and the purples that I've been using. And that is what's on my face right now. Let me know what you think. Let me know, um, like, what are your favorite foundations? What are your favorite, especially your contour stuff colors? Let me know, because this thing... It's a really great color, but it doesn't blend very well. Um, what else can I say? And let me know about your eyeshadow palettes, because like I said, I have a history of buying really cheap stuff and it doesn't have enough pigment and you put it on and you put it on and you put it on and then after you have like a half an inch of it on your eye, it looks like it has color. Um, this does okay, but it still took forever to get, like I don't have the range of color. And I used to use like cream eyeshadows, but they don't stay on. My skin's too oily, it's too hot in Florida, they just sort of melt off. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Uh, like I said, we're going to do all sorts of random things on this channel. I wanted a channel where I could talk about anything, do anything, wide variety. I do still have the Debosaurus Rex channel where I do toy reviews and talk about my Jurassic Park Jeep, so be sure and follow us over there, too. And until next time, I love you, I won't judge you, 
and I'll see you later. Well, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.